Hi everyone, I'm Fiona Forbes for Fresh Magazine and I'm joined now by Lelania. She is the designer and founder of an amazing clothing line called Hourglass Heaven. Thank you so much for joining us today, Lelania. How are you? I'm doing good. So let's talk about Hourglass Heaven. What is it? Hourglass Heaven, our mission is to create a well-fitting, good quality clothes for women with an hourglass shape. Now, hourglass is what? Okay, so an hourglass shape is where your bust and your hips are about the same size and your waist is nine inches or more smaller. So it's very much women that have those curves. Those curves we all talk about, some of us are born with it and it's a struggle to find clothes that fit. Uh, you kind of came in a different direction into designing clothes. You've only been doing it for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Where were you before and how did you get here? Um, so I was working in the tech industry and uh, when I was working there, um, jeans and t-shirts were perfectly fine for a really long time. Uh, but then I moved into a position where I had to do meetings with guys in suits. So I needed some nice professional clothes to wear. And that's when I really hit the struggle. I mean, I'd struggled finding clothes to fit pretty much my whole life. Um, but when I tried to find professional clothes particularly, I found it really difficult to find you know, a good fitting suit, a good little black dress to wear to parties. Um, and I was in Toronto, I was in a big city. I thought I'd be able to find clothes that fit, and I couldn't. And I'm sure you got the same thing that I did from everyone and still do. Oh, just tailor it. Oh, you can get it custom made, but the cost on that on top of clothing sometimes can be prohibitive. Uh, is that what you discovered? Yeah, for sure. Um, and actually, even when I went in to get things tailored, I was told by tailors that they couldn't tailor the garments to actually fit me because you had to take in too much. Exactly. That, you know, they had to take in the garments by 10 inches. And at that point, you're beginning to alter the whole garment significantly. If there's any kind of pattern to the fabric, forget it. Uh, it destroys the style lines. And that's when I really started thinking about, okay, this is something where you have to design it from the start to be designed for those curves. And you started with a little black dress. Yes. And, and now you've got reams of different styles available. Uh, what was the reaction from women once they discover that you do design specifically for the hourglass? And we should also explain, sizings go to double extra small to double extra large. It's not just plus size clothing or just small clothing. Yeah. What's the reaction from women when they find something that fits from you? For the women that struggle with this, they're so happy to be able to find clothes that actually do fit, to discover a company that actually does make clothing for them. Um, it, it's very rare. Uh, so all of them have been really thrilled. Um, I even had one woman that uh, when she was trying on the dress, she was there with her daughter and she wasn't sure whether or not she should get it or not, whether or not her husband would be okay with her spending the money on getting a dress. And her daughter encouraged her. She's just like, you know, you look great. Mommy, like, why don't you go for it? And she decided to go ahead and get it. And you know, it was interesting because when she finished buying it, you know, she thanked me with tears in her eyes and like gave me a hug. How and rewarding! Thanked me for making this dress. And I was just like, you know, this is why I'm in it. It's because it is the kind of experience that really does impact. You know, women. I mean, they've struggled with this. They've gone into the dressing room with like ten different sizes, none of them fitting. And, you know, here they are and they're able to try something on and have it look great and fit well. And we all know that feeling when you take 20 things into the dressing room, nothing fits, whether you're large or small or what people consider, consider normal. It can be so damaging to your self-esteem. Yeah. I mean, you feel like, you know, there's something wrong with you because yeah. nothing is fitting, you know, and everything looks terrible, you know. And it's funny because I've seen a lot of fashion advice where they're like, oh, hourglasses, you can wear anything. And I'm like... You are not an hourglass if you were writing that because it is so not true. If you were an hourglass, you're really struggling to find things that actually do fit. Um, and I find that, you know, I, I think it was Amanda Cardinet that talked about the fact that, you know, really your choices are like either that, you know, you're wearing like this big baggy thing where, you know, you, you look like a heifer or you're wearing these really, really tight clothing that, you know, it's really kind of revealing. Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily wear it to work. Yeah. It's very snug because it's stretching to fit, you know, and it just, it doesn't really work. And your fabrics are beautiful. Sustainability is part of what you do as well. Maybe you can elaborate on that a little bit and why you do that. Yeah, so um, when I first started my company, um, I was, um, sustainability was something I was thinking about at the very start. Um, but I did work with polyesters uh, for my first line. Um, I chose a nice sturdy polyester, nice sturdy zippers, so I tried to get something that was really going to last. Um, but I did get some women that came back to me with a, well, could you offer some different fabrics, some more natural fibers? Uh, so that's something that I did introduce with the latest collection. Um, I was showing you, this is 
a lovely beech wood. So soft. So it's like <laughs> super soft, um, and it is a sustainably uh, grown product. And uh, similarly, the fabrics here are a beech wood blend. Uh, so I try to move into more eco-friendly fabrics as I'm kind of going along. And it is all produced locally too. The, Amazing. the products are made locally within Canada. I try to use Canadian suppliers. So I'm trying to really think about sustainability from a number of different aspects. And that's what customers want too. And if people want to get their hands on some of your clothing, where can they find it? Right now, you can find them on my website at hourglassheaven.ca. And I'm also looking at starting to be carried in some local boutiques. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. And as Lelania just said, you can find her clothing at hourglassheaven.ca and be sure to tune in next time and get fresh with us.